Gangnam Style. Hello, my name is Portia Trinidad and I am a St. Charles student in the fourth grade. For this past several weeks, we have been studying about the California missions and the Native Americans that lived in those areas. Today, I am going to present to you Mission Santa Barbara, also known as the Queen of All Missions due to its graceful beauty with its own twin towers overlooking the Great Pacific Ocean. In order to get the best understanding about Mission Santa Barbara, we have to learn about the history that came before it. So I invite you to take a trip with me. Before Mission Santa Barbara was established, the Chumash had already inhabited the area. I'd like to introduce to you a friend of mine, Amatil. Hello, my name is Chief Amatil. I am the daughter of Chief Yananali. My dad, Chief Yanonali, is the chief that welcomed Padre Junipero Serra, Padre Fermin, and the rest of the Spaniards to our home. He brought them in and offered them assistance. Portia had a lot of questions about the Chumash people since they were the Native Americans that lived in the area before Mission Santa Barbara was created. To make all these facts easier to explain, Portia decided to bring me along on her journey. My Chumash people were a matriarchal society. That means that our lineage came from the mom's side of the family. This means the kids would take the mom's last name instead of the dad's last name. For instance, Portia would be Portia Madrigal instead of Portia Trinidad. Being part of a matriarchal society also meant that the chief could be a man or a woman, which was usually inherited. That's how I became Chief Amatil. I inherited the chiefdom from my dad. Originally, Chumash people didn't wear much clothing. The Chumash people were usually barefoot. But sometimes they would wear moccasins called mukluks during the cold season. Originally, Chumash people didn't wear much clothing. Women only wore grass skirts. Shirts in the Chumash culture weren't really necessary, but I thought it would be appropriate if I wore a shirt. Chumash men usually went naked, except for a ceremonial belt. Hey, how are ya? Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? The Chumashes painted their faces for special occasions. They used different colors and patterns for war paint, religious ceremonies, <coughs> and festive decorations. <laughs> The Chumash sometimes wore deerskin skirts and capes when the weather got cooler. The Chumash chiefs wore feather robes and headdresses like the one I'm wearing now. Today, Chumash people wear modern clothes like jeans instead of grass skirts. They only wear traditional clothes for special occasions like a dance. My Chumash people were known for being very intelligent, resourceful, and friendly. One skill my Chumash people were famous for was intricate basket weaving. Some baskets were woven so tightly they could even hold water. Another skill my Chumash people were famous for was making really strong boats called tomals. They were either made from driftwood or redwood. The tomals allowed us to travel up and down the coast, fish, trade, and not to mention, we got to see very cool sea creatures, such as dolphins and whales. My Chumash people were hunter-gatherers, and since they lived near the ocean, they would gather ocean shells. They would turn them into beads and use them for trade or as money. The word Chumash even means bead people. My Chumash people had many beliefs and legends. They believed that the world was divided into three sections the sky world, the middle world, and the water world. They also had legends to help explain natural events like thunder and lightning. One legend is about two brothers that played a stick and pole game. When they played, it was so loud and violent, it made thunder and lightning. Yeah! Wow! Many things changed when the Padres came to our land. They used my people to construct a mission and to build a community. The Padres were missionaries from Spain. They spent their time trying to teach us 
Catholicism. They also spent their time trying to build a military by arming and teaching my people to be soldiers. The Spaniards taught us new crafts and trades. They taught us how to make buildings, irrigation systems, and places to store our food. We learned over 50 different trades at the mission. We learned how to sing and play European musical instruments. But most importantly, we learned about Jesus Christ and Christianity. Our new skills helped us to become herdsmen and farmers. We no longer needed to hunt and gather to survive. The irrigation systems allowed us to farm and grow corn, oranges, beans, wheat, barley, and peas. The Spaniards brought a lot of good things, but not everything they brought was good. Over the years, there was a lot of arguments and fighting. When the military got involved, they hurt a lot of my people, and they were very mean. Europeans also brought a lot of diseases that killed a lot of my family and friends. Before the Spaniards arrived, there was 22,000 Chumash people in the area. But then, the highest ever recorded was only in the missions was only 1,742. The worst thing the Spaniards brought for me was disease. I died from smallpox. <clears throat> But luckily, I converted into Christianity. Now I'm in heaven with God looking over on the mission. Mission Santa Barbara was the 10th mission established in California. Mission Santa Barbara was founded by Padre Fermin de la Suen. It was established December 4th, 1784. Patron Saint Barbara is like a fairy tale princess. Beautiful Barbara got locked in her tower by her rich father. He wanted to protect her from boys. When he went on a trip, he had his workers put two windows in her tower. St. Barbara had them add one more window to represent the Holy Trinity. When her father returned, he realized that Barbara converted to Christianity. So he literally beheaded her with his sword. That night when he was walking home, he got struck down by lightning and killed instantly. St. Barbara is one of the first martyrs to prefer to die violently than to say no to live with God. The Mission Santa Barbara was location was chosen because it was near the Pacific Ocean and it was easy for the ships to deliver and take goods. Also, the land was good for farming and the Chumash Indians were very skilled and strong craftsmen. Mission Santa Barbara's first buildings were made from logs and thatched roofs. Later on, they used adobe brick, stacked stones, and filled them with mud. Mission Santa Barbara grew gradually. Over the years, they added three churches, each bigger than the Mission Santa Barbara is the only California mission to remain under Franciscan control since the very beginning. At one point, the governor tried to sell the mission but California had already become part of the U.S. Today, my great-great-granddaughter, Eshrop, is a fourth grader in Santa Barbara. Let's see what she's up to. Today, too much people only wear modern clothes, like jeans instead of cross skirts, like the ones I'm wearing now. <coughs> they only wear traditional clothes for special occasions, like a dance. A lot of people ask me that, so I thought you should know. Today, I dress just like Portia. Okay, I'm finished. I'm gonna go send my letter to Portia now. Bye. Hi guys, I just received a letter from my pen pal, Eshrop. Before I go to read it, I just wanna thank you guys for taking your time to learn about Mission Santa Barbara and its enchanting history. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. Ciao for now, bye.
would be necessary if I wore a shirt. Appropriate! But I thought it would be appropriate if I wore a shirt. Yes, I can! Chumash men didn't real... <laughs> hey, how are ya? Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Stop. Stop. I Don't say, say, hey, how are you? It's, hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Hey, are you? hey. Deer skin, skirts, and capes. <laughs> They would use them for beads, or for trading, and, or, <laughs> The mission, The new uh, skills. The new skills. Wait, wait, stop. Four, three. Well, Dad, Later on, they used adobe brick and Later on, they used adobe brick and stone stuck with mud. Later on, they used adobe brick and stacks stone. That's a hummingbird you retarded. Hi guys. I I hope you guys had a good time watching. And